Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. It's a pleasure to see you once again, to have the opportunity to be with you in another session, in another class. How was your day? How was your day, people? Was it good? Was it bad? So, so? How was your day? I have a beautiful day. You had a beautiful day. Good. What made it beautiful? ¿Qué lo hizo así de beautiful? It was fine. It was fine. Very good. It was a good day. Did you have a busy day? Busy, that you have to do many things. Or it was an easy day. An easy day is like when everything is normal, you don't do that much. But a busy day, it's when you have to do many things at the same time. How was your day? Easy or busy? Uh -huh. Ana Beatriz. Easy. Uh, it was busy. easy. Busy. Busy. <laughs> For Marlon, easy or busy? Busy. Busy. Roberto, easy or busy? Uh, I have a busy day. You had a busy day. Elmer? Was it busy or easy? Sí, busy, busy. busy. Very busy. Say, <laughs> Jairo, how was your day? Easy or busy? Busy. Busy. Veronica, how was your day? Easy or busy? Easy. Easy. Isaías, was it easy or busy? Easy. Easy. Very easy. And uh, Fernando said he was uh, busy. And Jenny? It was easy or busy this day? Okay, it's a, it's a mystery. We don't know. <laughs> okay, so for today, uh, well, many of your friends are going to connect in a second. Thank you, Ana Beatriz, for being here. Marlon, Roberto, Elmer, Jairo, Veronica, Isaías, Fernando, and Jenny. Okay. Say hi, it says busy. How do you write it? It is busy. That's the way you write it, busy. Ocupado. Yes, it was busy. And the other one was easy, it was fácil. Okay, so today I sent you a link in your uh, WhatsApp group for you to get to know a little bit about the topic for the day, right? The topic for the day, it's the parts of the house. And in some cases, we don't really know what the names of a specific parts of the house are. And that is when the curiosity appears, right? When the curiosity part of, of us reveals and it's like, hey, I didn't know, right? And then you start asking yourself a lot of questions like, hey, I didn't know how to say that, how to say this. Now, I am going to share my PowerPoint with all of you to start the class, okay? So we're going to study the parts of the house. Today is class number six, right? My God, time flies when you have fun. Let's remember the agreements of our classes, right? For everybody, practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. Hey, Veronica, it's nice to see you. That's very nice. I always see your picture, but it's good to see your face. It's even better. Attend. Uh, thank you. Attend all, <laughs> all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class and collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group, okay? So what did we study in the previous class? Who can tell me what did we do yesterday? 
Mm -hmm. This is the moment for you to take the notebook. Ahorita quiero ver las anotaciones. What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué vimos ayer? Yes. What did we study uh -huh. yesterday? We use the app in on. Uh -huh. What else? I am going to send a message to your friends because I have many Simple. students. Uh -huh. Simple present question. Simple present questions. Okay. Do you have examples of questions with simple present? Mm, do you get up early? Excellent. Do you get up early? Very good. And that was basically what we did yesterday. And we did a reading, right? What was the reading about? Do you remember? We learned a word yesterday. That was schedules, right? Otherwise. Schedules. Horario? Schedules, right? Horarios. Right, we learned about schedules yesterday. So, and we were practicing about things that you do every single day, that you do on weekends, that you do on weekdays. What is something specific that you only do on Saturdays? Something specific that you only do on Saturdays, that you don't do in any other day of the week, only on Saturdays. Uh huh. I can rest. give you, okay, rest, good. I can give you one example. I eat tamales on Saturday. And it's only on Saturdays. Because not on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, never. But on Saturdays, eh, my family eats tamales. So it's like a tradition to eat tamales on Saturday. What is something specific that you do only on a specific day? Think about it. And if you I have it, for, uh -huh. I go for hair cut. Haircut. Ah, you go for a haircut on yeah. Saturdays. Okay, yes. only Saturdays. Good. So you see, haircut day, Saturdays, and not other day. Good. Teacher. Yes? On Saturday, I sleep on the afternoon. I you sleep in the afternoon. That's fantastic to sleep in the afternoon, then to wake up and to have dinner. And to continue enjoying the day. That's so nice. Very good. So you sleep on sand on Saturday's afternoon. Very good. Tell me about something that you do specifically on Saturdays. Isaías, what is something that you do specifically on Saturdays? Um, um, take a shower. <laughs> Only on Saturdays? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> all days, all days. Ah, okay. Maybe a long shower. <laughs> okay, okay. Ya no expusiste, ya no exhibiste. <laughs> okay, Roberto, for you to wake up, what is something that you do specifically on Saturdays? I go out with my girlfriend. You go out with your girlfriend. We in different places, for example, the mall, the beach, or the park. Okay, only on Saturdays. Only on Saturday. Okay, los otros días no me digan nada. Only on Saturday. Sure. <laughs> good, very good. Ok, good. Siempre para la clase, si nos acomodamos mucho, nos gana. El, sí, sí. Eh, <ríe> nos gana el rey. What is the, what is the name of the, of the sleeping king? Morfeo. Oh. <ríe> Ana Beatriz, what is something that you do specifically on Saturdays? 
I don't cook. You don't cook. Hey, that's no. so nice. I you, buy food. You buy Every food. Saturday. Very good. Let me see. Kelly Maritza, what is something that you do specifically on Saturdays? I watch TV. You watch TV. Veronica? In the park on you, Saturday. You walk in the park on Saturdays. Good, very good. Let me see. Mr. Jairo, what do you do only on Saturdays? Okay. Um, at, uh, at morning. Um, in the morning? In the morning. Um, eat hot cakes. <gasps> Qué rico. Uh, <laughs> you eat pancakes. Only uh -huh. Saturdays. Only on Saturdays. Hey, that's um, very good. And uh, watch TV. Um, uh -huh. um, soccer's place. Ah, uh, you 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 uh watch soccer games. Soccer, soccer games. games. Okay. Okay. Good. Um. Yeah. At afternoon. Um. Y tamales. Ah, good. You are one of my team, but you are not from Santa Ana. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> The Constitution. Yeah, so that's a very that's a very common tradition in Santa Ana to eat tamales on Saturdays. Good. So, sorry, I'm fighting with my dog. That's why I move a lot. <laughs> um, the topic of the day it's the parts of the house, right? So yeah. uh, we can say, okay, here we go. We can say that a uh, Houses are very different, right? And you can say, I live in a small house or I live in a big house. Which one would you choose? I live in a small house or I live in a big house? I live in a small house. In a small house. Who it's lives? It's like an uh -huh. apartment. It's like an apartment. Good. So it's, it's kind of small. Who lives in a big house? You say, I me, teacher. A big house. You live in a big house. Cool. Ana Beatriz. The, the bad part of having a big house, it's like a lot of cleaning. It's a lot of cleaning. I mean, because in a small house, you clean, chi 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 chi, and that's it, right? In a very quick way. But in a big house, you have to clean a lot. So, the different parts of the house, right? I send you a big list there. On the page that I send you, there are many other parts, far from the ones that I am going to show you right here. But for this one, right, as a, as you have on also on your on your phone, here we have the dining room. This is not the dining room, okay? It's dining room where you eat dinner. The dining, dining room. room, the dining room. It will be like what we know in Spanish as el comedor, right? The dining room. The living room. The living room is where you watch TV, where you have the television, all the things, and all the little uh, ornaments that your mother keeps, right? Si ustedes tienen una mamá eh, tradicional, tiene un montón de adornitos ahí in the living room. The next one, we have the kitchen. The kitchen. Chicken kitchen. is the animal. Kitchen is the place. Right? You are not going to tell me, teacher, I have a big chicken. No, it's a kitchen, kitchen. The next one that we have here, it's the laundry room. The laundry room is when you do the laundry, where you wash your clothes, right? Here in El Salvador, here, you might have the laundromat or the washing machine, right? The washing machine, que es la lavadora, or you can have here the sink or la pila. Sink. The sink, right? The sink. What's the meaning sink? Pila? Pila. Okay. Pila, lavadero, right? The sink, right? <laughs> and um, here we have the stairs. A stairs mean gradas, okay? The stairs. Stairs. Hall, okay. a paseo, a pasillo. Pasillo, right? The hall okay. is pasillo. The yard is patio. el patio, 
right? In English and in, in many American houses and many people who go to the United States, they say la yarda. And it is not la yarda, it is the yard. The yard, it's the name. And people say la yarda, but it is a, it's a word that they have invented, but it is yard. Es como la palabra. This is Spanish. Ajá. Es como la palabra cora de nosotros. Porque la moneda se llama quarter. Quarter. And maybe one person. Quarter. One person said quarter, quarter, quarter. ¿Qué? Cora. Cora. El cora le quedó para el final de los tiempos. But the name of the coin, it's quarter. Quarter. Right? It's a quarter. But here, if you say like, how much is it? A quarter? Oh, thank you very much. No, 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 niña, una cora. It's the same, right? So that's that's a different, and that's the same thing with the yard, right? The yard, sure. the garden. Uh huh. I have a, I have a question. Question me. Eh, verdad que la palabra correcta para decir yo quiero es I want, no I wanna. I want. Yes. Eh, that's want. a very good question. Palabras como. Wanna. Y gonna, eh, son formas cortas de expresarlo, totalmente informales. It's like, I want to go. It's like, the meaning of this is, I want to go. I, I am to go. going to go, right? I want to go. And gonna means, I am going to go. Okay, pero viene alguien que quería decir las cosas como bien a la carrera y dijo, I want to go. En Guana se quedó de manera informal. Okay? Si estás hablando de manera informal muy rápido, dices, hey, I, I want to have a piece of cake. And it's correct, but it's informal. It's better to say, I want to have a piece of cake. I am going to go to the movies. Not like, I'm going to go to the movies. And it's correct. Like you can use it with your friends, family, or something informal. It's possible. But it's not really appropriate. So I have the detail there. But thank you for the question. Here we have, as well, I have the garage, right? The garage is the place where you put the cars, right? The garage. The bedroom is the room for the bed. Ta -da! <laughs> the bedroom. The bathroom is the room to bath. The bathroom. In a public place, you don't use the bathroom. In a public place, you use the restroom, okay? If you are in Metro Centro, for example, if you are in the mall, if you are in a place, you say, I need to go to the restroom. You don't say, I need to go to the bathroom because if not, you are going to go to your house, right? And imagine if you are in Santa Ana, how are you going to do it? So, I need to go to the bathroom. No, 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 I need to go to the restroom. The restroom is public. The bathroom is private, okay? So that's the main difference. The restroom is public, the bathroom it's private. We also have here the hall, right? The hall is el pasillo. Another bedroom, another bedroom, the stairs. And here we have, this is an apartment, right? This is a house. This is a big house, right, of two floors. When you say first floor, it's primer piso. Second floor, segundo piso. In an apartment, you have a small version of this. You have the bedroom, the closet, the dining room, the living room, the kitchen, and that's it, right? That is your house. And here you have the elevator, right? And that is your house. In an apartment, you don't have a garage because it is public, right? The parking is public. But in your house, yes, you have the entrance of the garage and all that. So that is the main difference. Now here in our country, almost all the houses look like apartments because they are small, right? Almost all the houses are like an apartment. If you go to one of these Salazar Romero things, so all of them are like, Living room, kitchen, dining room in the same place, right? So the houses are very small. And there are some others that are very, very big, 
like these ones. So let's practice pronunciation of this ones. We go dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining Living room. room. Living, Living room. room. Kitchen. 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 Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Stairs. 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 Garage. 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 Bedroom. 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 Closet. 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 Hall. 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 Bathroom. 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 Stairs. 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 Elevator. 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 Dining room. Dining, Dining room. room. Living room. Living room. Closet and kitchen. Closet. Closet and kitchen. And here you have a small bathroom. 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 A small bathroom. A small bathroom. Right, a small bathroom. So here you have all the different places of the house. And I know that you can identify the ones that you have in your house. So for this one, we are going to go and do the following. We are going to answer. Okay. <laughs> I am going to erase my tripa chuka there. There you have. What rooms are in your house? Is your house big or small? And do you live in a house or in an apartment? We're going to answer these three questions. But for the first one, we are, going, we are not going to answer the first one right now because you are going to do something different. Is your house big or small? You answered that question already. And do you live in a house or in an apartment? Roberto mentioned that he lives in an apartment. Who else lives in an apartment? ¿Quién más vive en un apartamento? I live in an apartment. You live in an apartment. Good. So we have two people in an apartment. And the rest in a house. So how are you going to describe this one? What rooms are in your house? And in this one, we are going to create a little paragraph for this one. And I'm going to do it here for you to see how you have to create it. In this one, you are going to say, my house is small, right? If your house is different, you are going to say, my house is big, big right? We're going to go. I am going to describe my house. It has... Let me see. <laughs> I don't remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rooms. It has seven rooms. And what? I am going. Yes, it's small. Wait, it's wait, small. wait. It's wait. a hotel. Wait, because the rooms. Oh, you see, ya me pusieron nervios. It has seven rooms, right? But it doesn't mean that all of them are to sleep, okay? Because it has the living room, okay, the living room, the kitchen, okay, ah, the dining room, okay, it is not bedrooms, right, all, all, all of them, two bathrooms, and two bedrooms, let me see the mathematics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> eight. <laughs> okay. It has eight rooms then. It has eight rooms there. Okay. The living room. Eight. The living room. The kitchen. But they are small. <laughs> the living room. The kitchen. The dining room. Two bathrooms. Two bedrooms. And let me see. Two bathrooms. Two bedrooms and the studio and the studio okay the studio no only that <laughs> pero lo chistoso es que todos son chiquitos they are small and and the kitchen is not next to the dining room right están a la par they are like very small and the bedrooms are only two right? The living room, the kitchen, the dining room, two bathrooms, two bedrooms, and the studio. The studio is here, the place where I give you the classes, right? 
Aquí solía ser un cuarto para dormir, pero ahora es su salón de clases. <risa> It is your, it's your office. Teacher. Yes. Y en este caso no aplicaría como estudio o, o salón de estudio, study room o algo así. No, you say the studio, it can be a study room, but the difference is this one. If I say that this one, let me just go to my presentation. If I tell you that is a, a study room, if I say a study room, es un cuarto o un lugar que solo se ocupa para ir a estudiar. Oh, yeah. But if I say the studio, it's like an office. It's like a little office where you have your computer, you have your desk, your books, and you have only things for you to work, right? Mm, okay. And I cannot tell you the office because I don't have my secretary and all these things, right? I am the <laughs> secretary. <laughs> I am the secretary, the manager, the everything here in the office. So the studio, why? Because I use it to teach classes to my little kid and to teach my classes. So that's why is the studio. And it is very curious, right? The kitchen is very small. And the living room, it's very small too, right? Así que, no, no, no crean que porque les digo que tiene ocho cuartos, es como, ooh, what a big house. And now that you are going to do your description, you are going to see that your house has many rooms too. Tiene muchos cuartos. O sea, ahorita les toca a ustedes. Vean su casa, piénsenla. Mm -hmm. And tell me, my house is small or big, right? It has eight rooms. Okay, I'm going to, to tell you. My house is big. Okay, grande, grande para, para mi corazón. My house is big. It has eight rooms. The living room, the kitchen, the dining room, two bathrooms, two bedrooms, and the studio. Okay, now I need you to create your paragraph about your house. And each of you is going to tell me the paragraph. Go ahead. Creation time. Este es el momento en el que se preguntan, ¿cuántos cuartos hay aquí? <laughs> you don't remember. If you, have the, if you have a garage, it's another room. So it has nine. Because I have a garage. My God. Lo puede empezar a rentar. <laughs> the, the garage. Two bathrooms, two bedrooms, and the studio. Okay, I need you to create the one for your house. My house is small. It has uh, seven rooms. The living room, the kitchen, the dining room, and five bedrooms, uh, and in a garage. In a garage. A, a living room. In a living room. So it has more, imagine it has five bedrooms. Tiene cinco cuartos para dormir. Yes. Oh my God. Okay, five bedrooms, the living room, the kitchen, How yes. many bathrooms? One. One bathroom. The garage. Yes. Uh, yes. What else? The. Do you have a dining room? Dining room, yeah. Uh -huh. the, the dining room uh, is the same as the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen, yes. Ah, okay. So, 10 rooms. It's a small. Like my house. <laughs> And it is curious because you say, like, hey, tengo 10 cuartos. My God. <laughs> and the house looks as small. Thank you, Isaías. Thank you very much. Two claps for you. Who's next? All of you are going to pass. Don't worry. Todos ustedes lo van a leer, así que don't worry. Um, my house is big. Mm -hmm. um, it has 12 rooms. Mm -hmm. It has the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, uh, the garage, a uh, four bed, uh, two bedroom, mm -hmm. four four bedroom, and storage. A storage, uh huh. And you have a storage. 
Very good, very good. Hey, the storage, there was another one that we were forgetting. The storage is la bodega. All the houses have one. It's small or big, but all the houses have one. Todas las casas tienen un cuarto bodega. Hey, esto donde lo meto? In the storage. Everything is in the storage room. And the Christmas tree? In the storage room. <laughs> y este gato? In the storage room. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue. Thank you, Elmer. Two claps for you. Who's next? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Jenny. Um, for me, it's a little bit complicated because um, uh, the house of my father mm -hmm. in the house of my of my of my uh, father, I have. Uh, uh, a small um, bathroom for me, but there I have um, a small living room, um, a small kitchen, and only that because the living the living room is um, like a dining room. <laughs> okay, the living room is the dining room as well. Uh huh. So yeah. it's a small One house. Bathroom. Uh -huh. Sorry? It's a small house, I said. Yes. Um, e one bathroom mm -hmm. and one bathroom. Only that. And only that. Yeah, but you see, it's a very nice and comfortable a small house. That's very Thank good. You. Thank you, Jenny. Who's next? Me. Two claps for Jenny. Go ahead. Go, Vanessa. My house. My house is small. It has two rooms, uh, the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, two bedrooms, the garage, and the chair. Small. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you have place for a hammock, okay? Cuando la casa tiene espacio para una maca, that's a big house. <laughs> it's my baby. Yeah, aquí pongo una maca y me doy una para y la otra. <laughs> I love the hammocks. That's the name of that hammock. I am going to send it to you on the chat. The hammock. Okay, thank you very, very, very much, uh, Vanessa, for sharing. Thank you. Who's next? My apartment is small. It has a bedroom, a bathroom, a living room, and a small kitchen. And that's it. Yeah. Okay, that's it. To the point, right? Small and to the point. That's very good. Thank you, Fernando. I saw you for a moment, right? Te vimos un ratitito ahí. Yeah, I saw your face. That was good. Who's next? Finger credit choosing. Chan, chan, chan. Thank you, Ana yeah. Beatriz. <laughs> My house is big. Uh, it has seven rooms, the living room, the kitchen, the loud room, uh, three bedrooms, one bathroom, and a big jar. It oh. has many sweet treats and a big, um, and a kitchen cook. Chicken cook. <laughs> It's a kitchen, an open kitchen. If it is like como una parrilla, it's an open kitchen. No. no. Chicken cook, gallinero. Ah, chicken cook. Okay, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's so nice. You have you have chicken there? Hey, that's cool. <laughs> Many fruit trees, uh, nice. cocos, naranjas, cocotes, mangos. Okay. Okay. ¿Quién, quién, okay, ¿quién va a sacar el bus? Todos vamos a ir en excursión a casa de mi madre. <ríe> ok, ya. Yeah. José, José Moisés va a gestionar el bus y todos vamos a ir en excursión a la casa de Ana Beatriz. Ya, yeah. imagínense si no hubiera COVID. It would be very nice to say like, hey, let's go. <ríe> to Ana Beatriz's house. That would be amazing. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. What a blessing, my God. What a blessing to have a big yard. Only like, yeah, quiero una nona, voy al patio. 
That's so cool. I have a lemon tree. That's a blessing. It's not my tree, okay? It's my neighbor's tree. The neighbor's. Yeah, but I throw water at it, okay? Como yo le tiro agüita de aquí, se ha pasado a mi casa. <laughs> and I have lemons all the year. Good. So, Yaritza, how is your house? Thank you, Ana Beatriz. Claps for you. Hello, good evening. Hi. Uh, my house is small. It has six rooms, uh, three bedrooms, the kitchen, the, the bathroom, and the, the, the living room. The living room. Thank you very much. Good. Very Hi. nice. Very nice. Mr. Roberto. Mr. Roberto at once, Mr. Roberto at twice, Mr. Roberto at three. Ah, here, here he is. Go ahead. In my house. Yes, describe your house. My house have three rooms, have a living room. Um, how do you say comedor? Dining room. Dining room in a... Uh, uh, Little yard. Uh -huh. Let me see. Have two bedroom and have a little kitchen. A little kitchen. Very good. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you very much for sharing. Clap for you. Thank Let you. me see. And the last one for us to continue with the next, we are going to go with Mr. Abdiel. Que misterioso se ve a ti. Hi. Hello. Hello. Where are you? Yeah. Bueno, um, my house is small. It does eight uh, rooms. Uh -huh. The living room, the kitchen, the dining room, the garage, uh, two bathrooms, uh, three bedrooms, um, eh, como un cuarto para lavar, eh. a laundry room, laundry so, room, eh, repeat. Laundry, laundry room, laundry room. No, it's right here. Let me show it to you. I have it right here on the map that I have here. I have it. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. A laundry room, Laund laundry room. Yes, a laundry okay. room. Okay, laundry a small room. house, you say. <laughs> it's like my house, that it has many rooms. <laughs> very good. Thank you, Abdiel. Thank you very much. Agarramos a Abdiel llegando a la casa. Let me see. Eh, Marlon Barrientos. I know you're ready. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, my house is small. It has eight rooms. The kitchen, four bedrooms, the living room, the yard, and the garage. Only that. Okay, the living room, the living room. Thank you very much, and thank you very much for sharing as well. Well, my dear students, so now we have an in. It is very cool because we were able to explain how your house is and how big your house is in a very short period of time, right? You say like it has one room, one bedroom, one bathroom, et cetera, et cetera, right? My house is big, my house is small. So based on this one, we can continue with the next one. And here I have a short conversation for us to practice what we have just started. And it says, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I have guess a new what? apartment. I have a new apartment. I have a new apartment. Wait, okay. Al perfeccionista que lleva dentro no le deja hacer eso. Guess what? Guess what? I have a new apartment. I have a new apartment. I have a new apartment. That's great. That's, That's great. great. That's great. What's it like? What's, What's, What's like? it like? It's really beautiful. It's, It's really, really beautiful. beautiful. Is it very big? 
it's, it's very, very, big. very big. Well, well, it has a big living room. It's it has a, a big, big living room. A small bedroom. A small a bedroom. bedroom. A bathroom. A bathroom. And a kitchen. And a kitchen. And a kitchen. Where is it? Where, Where is, is it? it? On Lakeview Drive. On Lakeview Lake Drive. Drive. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. nice. Does it have a view? Does it Does have, it a, view? have a view? A view means that uh, you can check other That's apartments there, right? Mean. Does it have a view? Tiene vista? And it says like, yes, it does. Yes, yes it, it does. does. It has a great view of another apartment building. <laughs> it has, it has, a, has, has a great view, view of another apartment building. Another apartment building. <laughs> right, it has a great view of another apartment building. So it is in front of another building. <laughs> you don't have any view at all. Right? Does it have a view? Yeah, <laughs> to the other house. <laughs> <laughs> like here in El Salvador, right? That you are in your window, right? Like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have a great view, but of the other house. So when you use sentences, like for example, guess what? You don't say, guess what? Because you are excited about sharing something. Imagine that you have a new job, that you have a new house, that you have a new car, that you have something new, you say, guess what? Guess what? I mean, you want to share it with the other person. It's like, guess what? Go with me. Imagínense que están súper emocionados me van a contar de su nueva casa. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Ajá, por ahí, por ahí le voy comprando el guess what. Guess what? Guess what? I have a new apartment. I have a new apartment. That's great. That's great. What's it like? What's it like? It's really beautiful. It's, it's really beautiful. beautiful. Is it very big? It's, it's very, 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 big. very big. Well. 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 It has a big living room. It's it has a big, big living room. room. A small bedroom. A small, a small bedroom. bedroom. A bathroom. A bathroom. A bathroom. And a kitchen. And, and a, a kitchen. kitchen. Where is it? Where is, Where is it? it? On Lakeview Drive. On Lakeview Drive. Lake Drive. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Does it, does it, have, does it have a view? Yes, it does. Yes, yes, it it does. Does. yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. It's a great, it has a great, a great view of another apartment building. building. Yes. Excellent. Jairo, what is your question? Oh, sorry. I don't have a question. Oh, you want to participate with me? Let's do the conversation. Okay, aprovechando que levanta la mano. Let's do the conversation. Okay. <laughs> Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What, 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 what it like? That's great. You say that's great. That's great. What, what, what is like? It what like? it like? What's it like? What it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Here in San Salvador. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of the Cinco de Noviembre Street. Ah, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Jairo. <laughs> very good, very good. Mr. Roberto, thank you. Do you have a question or do you want to practice a conversation yes. with me? Yes, I can. But I have a question first. Uh -huh. Give me the question. What, what's the meaning? Guess what? Adivina que. Adivina. Uh, <laughs> in, in good Salvadorian, it's like, bitch. Van a creer. That's in good Salvadorian, right? It's like, van a creer, bitch. Salvadorian language. Salvadorian language. It's like, no, no me van a creer. What? 
I have a new apartment. Really? Here in El Salvador, <laughs> they are very expensive. <laughs> so, <laughs> guess what? I have a new apartment, Roberto. That's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. It is a, it is very is big. It, is it? Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, mm -hmm. and a kitchen. Where is it? Here in San Salvador. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of my neighbor's house. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Roberto. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I always change it. That's good. Now I am going to have Mr. Fernando and Isaias. Go ahead. Okay. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is where is where is it? Where is it? Oh, like you drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Your microphone. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, yeah. Sorry. No, it was my microphone. Y ese, y ese es el secreto de la felicidad. Ese es el secreto de la felicidad. ¿Sí? ¿Anotaron, ¿Anotaron mi número de tarjeta? Eso la pueden ocupar. <laughs> so it's there. Let's see. I need two girls. Two girls. Dos chicas. Two girls. Me. Okay. And... Who else? I need me to... teacher. Okay, excellent. One, two, three, action. Guess what? I have new apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, is small bedroom and bathroom and kitchen. Where is it? On Lake View, Lake Blue Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Building, building, building. Mm -hmm. Good. So thank you very much, girls. Very good job. Things like this one. What's it like? What's it like? Right, we have to make the correct pronunciation. We say, what's it like? The next one, uh, where is it? Right, where is it? Does it have a view? Right, this link, these links are giving you problem. What's it like, right? Is it very big? Right, we have to make the correct pronunciation. You have to move your mouth and, out and articulate because if not, it is going to give you a problem. Repeat with me. What's it like? 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 Is it very big? Is it it's very big? Very big. Where is it? Where, is, Where it? is it? Does it have a view? Does it have, Does a, view? It have a view? It has a great view. It has, it has a, great a great view. It has a great view. A living room? A living room? A living room? Así dice. 
A big living room. Uh -huh. a big living room. I am <laughs> testing you to see if you are just repeating or if you are listening, reading, and repeating, right? It has a big living room. It has, it has a, a big living room. room. A small bedroom. A small bedroom. A bathroom. A bathroom. In a kitchen. In a kitchen. Good. So, uh, we're going to practice it for the last time. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Everybody, everybody. Only Anna, Anna Beatriz said it. Right. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Guess what? Guess I have what? a new apartment. That's great. That's, That's great. Really great. That's What's it like? Great. What's, What's it like? It is really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Is it very big? Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Well, well it has a big living room, room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Where, Where is, is it? it? On Lakeview Drive. On Lakeview Drive. Drive. Oh, nice. Oh, oh nice. nice. Does it have a view? Does, does it, it have, have a view? view? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. It, it has a great view a of great another view apartment, of building. apartment building. Another apartment building. Very good job. Claps for everybody. Okay. Yo soy fiel creyente de la buena pronunciación. I, I really like that my students have very good pronunciation. Excellent. Let's continue here. Now, based on the example that we have here and based on the sentences that we have used, we have the grammar that we were using in this class, right? Do you live in an apartment? Right? Do you live in an apartment? It was one of the questions that I did at the beginning of the class. Do the bedrooms have windows? Does Chris live in a house? Does the house have a yard? So in this case, the, in the case of Chris, is it a house or an apartment? It's an apartment. apartment. It is an apartment. So if I ask you, does... Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does, or no, he doesn't? No, he no, doesn't. He, no, no, he doesn't. doesn't. In the conversation, does the house have a yard? No. No, he doesn't. No, it doesn't, right? No, only, it doesn't. Only a big living room, a small room, bedroom, a, a bathroom. A small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. And a kitchen, right? Do the bedrooms have windows in the conversation? Do the bedrooms no. have windows? No. no. Do you have the information in the conversation? No, they don't. No. No, we don't know. We don't know, right? ¿Por qué? We don't ahí, know. Ahí no dice. So maybe, yes, they do. Or maybe, no, they don't. In your house, do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ustedes tienen la ventana? Or yes, they do? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, because they do. We are talking. We are talking about the bedrooms. Okay. We are talking about the bedrooms. Okay. So, uh, do you live in an apartment? That was the first question that I did in the class. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Do you do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do or no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Right? Good. I have two two people that can say yes, I do. So let me see. Does your house have a yard? Yes, it does or no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. A yard es un jardín frontal, right? But we don't have. No. Or do you have a small garden? 
No. No, I don't. No, no I, I don't. Todavía no somos la señora de las plantas. I have a no. pet garden. Oh, you have a pet well, Se lo and... comen los pollos. <laughs> Okay. Well, Por eso tienen su gallinero. <laughs> well, here in my house I have a problem with the some popos, right? They eat my plants and yeah. I hate them. Right. Tell me, does your house, does your house have a laundry room? And a space that is specifically for the laundry? Yes. They do. Yes, it does because I am talking about the house. It yes, it does. So the base. No, form, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Yeah, my my laundry room is the same garage. So the garage is the laundry <laughs> room. In the case of this question, does the house have? If you use the auxiliary does, remember that the verb goes in the normal form. Okay, and in this case, if you say, do the bedrooms have windows, right? Here you have the auxiliary and the normal verb, right? In these cases, it doesn't change. The only changes happened in affirmative sentence. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, right? For the answers, it changes the auxiliary that you use, but for I, you, we, and they, you use do and don't. For he, she, and it, does and doesn't. Good. So based on this one, we are going to do a little exercise. We're going to do a little example. And we are going to work together for this one. How are we going to complete this? It says, do you live in an apartment? What is the answer for this? No, I... Do. No, I don't. Uh -huh. no, no, I don't. don't. Here no, you have I the don't. two options. No, I don't. Right? No, I don't. I, I live in a house. I live in a house. It a yard. It has a yard. How do you make the questions? To ask if it has something. Uh -huh. Check on this one. Does the house? Does, does. Uh huh. Uh, I am. Oh. Uh huh. In this case, you don't say does. does it has a jar? Does it, it has a jar? Have. What does happens when have. you use does? Does have. it have? have. It, it have. doesn't have. have. Does it, it have, have a jar? A jar. Yes, it. It does. Yes, it does. does. That sounds nice. You alone? Do you live? Have, have a long? Do, do you do you have a long? It's like uh, do, do, do you, you live? Do you live, do you live, live alone? alone? Do you live alone? Do you no, live alone? I. <laughs> si tengo un alone. Ah. No, I <laughs> don't. I don't. I I live, I live with my family. I live, I live with, with my don't. family. Good. I live with my family. The next one. Do you have any brothers or sister? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I. Yes, do. I. I have. Ha. Yes, I have or yes, I do. The two of them are correct. I. Yes, I do. I have four, four sisters. I have four sisters. That's a big family. You have a are big you family. live? Are you live a big house? Are you? Are we using are you? Live. Mm -mm. Do you do, live? Do you live? Do you live a big house? Do you live a big house? Exactly. Do you have? Do you have a big house? Yes, we. A big yes. house. Yes, we, we do. We do. We it has. has it has ten, ten rooms. Rooms. Ten rooms. Rooms. Does. Does. Does it, it does it have, 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 have many bedrooms? Many bedrooms. Yes, it, yes, do. it do. Yes, it does. 
estás. <laughs> Remember, cada vez que ocupamos it, siempre vamos a ocupar does. Yes, it does. does. It. It has. Four. Four. Yes. You, your own bedroom. Do you have? Do you have, have your, have own, your own bedroom? bedroom? Yes, I do. do. Yes, I do. do. I am really, I'm really lucky. lucky. Lucky, lucky. Yes, I lucky. do. Lucky. Yes, I do. I am really lucky. Okay, so, my dear students, I am going to send you a picture of this one, and I need you to complete the exercise in your notebook, okay? I am going to send you a picture here. Le voy a enviar una foto del ejercicio. Yeah, no, that's a picture of me. No. <laughs> here you have. A screenshot. Uh, yeah, you can take a screenshot if you want as well, but I am going to send it on the chat. So we don't have any problem here that you say like, no, teacher, no la tengo, que se me borró, no sé qué. Anything? No, right. So we are going to go here. I am going to send you a picture of it and you can take a screenshot as well. And so you can have it. I need you to complete it on your notebook, okay? You are going to use it. That will be the first thing we do in the class tomorrow, okay? La primera cosa que vamos a hacer mañana es completarlo y ustedes me lo van a mostrar cómo lo han ido completando. Una I oración have, a la vez. How about that? Ajá, question me. When you say the notebook is in the in the platform? Well, you can complete it in the platform, but I, I guess that you have a notebook for your classes, no? No tienen un cuaderno para sus clases? Yes. Aha. So, in an agenda. I'm a good student. Yeah, you are a very good student. I know all of you are, a good, are good students. Siempre tienen que tener un cuaderno, una agenda o algo para ir anotando sus palabras nuevas, las cosas que vamos haciendo, las estructuras y todo porque les pueden servir después cuando hacen sus exámenes, cuando están en la plataforma o para su aprendizaje personal. Ahí lo pueden ir trabajando. ¿Ok? Así just, que... Ajá. Just notebook. Entonces... Okay. Ah, no, sorry. Es... <ríe> de notebook, un cuaderno. Workbook es... Libro de trabajo. Ah, ok. So, get a notebook, ¿ok? Mañana lo primero que va a hacer Roberto es mostrarme el cuaderno que tiene para sus clases, ¿ok? ¿Qué? Todos lo voy a mostrar, a ver qué, qué tienen. Pobres hijos ahí sin cuaderno. <ríe> Dame el cuaderno, hijo. Me lo pidió la teacher. Sí, teacher. Ok, Yo so... Ryan. <ríe> it's ok. Anything. It can be a normal notebook. Well, have a beautiful night, my dear students. I sent you the picture on the chat. And for sure, I know that you got your screenshots. Have a beautiful night, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Practice your vocabulary, because we are going to use it in class. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.